Right, what's going on everyone? Um, in today's video, um, we're going to be identifying the trend. Um, identifying the trend is very, very important when it comes to day trading, um, intraday trading, swing trading, scalping, any type of trading, it's very, very important. And I will go over the type of traders and which one do you want to be. So, in today's video, we're going to be identifying the trend. Now, always, always the rule number one in the Forex market is to, tra to trade with the trend. What that basically means is, let me just make my charts more understandable for you guys. I usually have the black and white, just the black charts, just for psychology purposes, which I'll go over that later. But um, what trading with the trend really means is that right here, right, you can see the trend is going down, going down, right? The candles, the movement is bearish, it's going down. That is a downtrend, which means when you see something like this, you must only be looking for sales. Don't, do not try to buy in a bearish market because it's very extremely difficult to know. You see these little blue candles? It's extremely difficult to know like when will this downtrend end? I mean a counter trend. So these major trends is that the trends and these little um, up they call them uh, uh, like uh, counter trends, right? Now, trading with the trend is usually a lot easier than trying to catch the, this move and this move and this move up and, and this consolidation. So always, um, rule number one, trade with the trend. The trend is your friend. Now, within the trend, that's when market structure comes in, right? You go and you look, oh, by the way, when you're trying to identify the trend, do not try to identify the trend on the 15 minutes where it looks like this. You know, this is very choppy and you're not going to understand nothing. Go on the daily time frame, right, up here. You click on the daily, you zoom out, and you see what the market, the flow of the market, and what's it doing. Now, you don't have to look over here because that's like literally 2020 November. We don't need, that's irrelevant. Look at the recent, most recent, um, price action in this here. So that is telling me that, hey, the market is bearish, right? However, now, how do we know that, okay, the bearish market has now ended and now we are trending to the upside, a new trend has occurred. Now, if you remember, um, I went over um, market structure over here so in a downtrend, you got a high, a low, a lower um, high, a lower low, a lower high, a lower low, a lower high, lower low. That's a downtrend. In an uptrend, we got a low, a high, a higher low, higher high, higher low, higher low, and so on. And this is just consolidation. This is when the market is just consolidating, where it's not doing nothing, just going up and down, up and down, up and down. So, um. Yeah, so that's a downtrend. The market usually does one of these three things. It either um, It's either in a downtrend or an uptrend or it's consolidating. Now, I would, I would personally um, avoid trading consolidation um, if you're a beginner um, just because it's really difficult to know like when it's going to. Obviously, it's never this perfect, but um, just avoid trading consolidation and look for clear market structure because when you have clear market structure, it's going to be so much easier for you to to trade these these markets, right? Now, um, as you see here, we have uh, a downtrend. Now, when when and then if I can show you an example on the chart, we can we have we have a high, um, low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower low, lower high, lower low. You see what I mean? until this until here now what happened here is the market was downtrending right in a downtrend and then all of a sudden we saw a clean break of structure what that basically mean is when you see a rally a 
bullish buying pressure and it it passed previous market structure as you can see here like here all the the the, the lower highs never went above the previous high right so what just one second sorry there we go all right so what that basically mean is you can see this never crossed crossed over this and this is lower than this like the the lower highs are never higher than the previous ones right they're always lower except here this is now higher than this see how it broke structure now that indicates that hey market structure has been broken and we could now potentially see um, a, a reversal of a trend a reversal mean like now okay the, the 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 bearish market has ended and now we're about to trend to the upside now we do not jump in for a buy up here we have to wait for more confirmations we have to have some sort of bullish market structure being formed before jumping in we need confirmation now this just means that hey this is sign number one that hey market structure has been broken this this was supposed to be a lower high but now it's 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 a it's a high uh, sorry it's a it's low and then it's a high it's a new trend right now this is sign number one now we wait for market to pull back and then if this doesn't pass this which means a bullish market has now started to form right now why is that because if you look over here do you see how if i connect these two together right let me just actually make it right for you guys and then this broke that's exactly what happened in that scenario down there which means market pulled up broke market structure market was in a downtrend it broke structure it went up it formed a new a new high right it broke market structure out here and then it went back but when it came back to pull it was it never went past this low which means now we have a higher low and when we have a higher low which means this is a new uptrend forming and that's when we jump in for a buy now I seen as soon as I see this I'm like all right uptrend has occurred we have break of structure we buy in and we ride it all the way up now remember this is a higher time frame this is the daily so this candle is literally one day so this took a day to to form and this was a day and this was a like this is we, weeks worth of, of of time right now how do we catch this from the start from the beginning we go down to smaller time frames we go down let's say to the two hour and zoom out and then we can see here within every market structure there is market structure right what that basically mean is that even though the trend was still coming down you can see something like like this going up Do you see what I mean but the overall market structure is going down and then we have double top and then we have a bearish momentum coming in now that we wait we wait until until here and that's when we see is it gonna break or is it gonna hold is it, it then in this scenario it held and it never broke this line and when when new market structure started to occur which happened right here we wait for a clean break of structure when did that happen see market was trending downwards boom 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 you see how this low 
is lower than this low and this low I mean sorry um, this um, low is higher than this low and that low is higher than this low now that tells me that hey this is and you um, sorry. this is a new market structure has been formed just to delete all this crap so now as soon as I see that you see how every time the market goes low it makes a lower low lower low until here I started making higher lows higher lows higher lows and that's when we jump in for a buy you can buy here you can buy here and you can buy here and take it up see it becomes so much easier to understand the flow of the market once you understand that hey if market structure on higher time frame is doing this right going down in 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 this big daily high time frame market structure there is market structure that's doing this actually let me change this color to red so you can see it within within the higher time frame in the bearish momentum the, you will see something like this Now what that is, within every downtrend, within every trend, there is within every market structure, there is market structure, right, and and so on. So that's where most people get confused, is that when you're on smaller time frame, there's too much noise going on. You see how it's just, like you don't understand. Is it going up, but the market is going down? Is it going down, but the market is going up? So always, if you want to take a trade, base it on the daily or the four hour, and then scale it down to smaller time frame only for entries, not to for the the direction. If the higher time frame, the daily and the four hour, is telling you to sell, then you go down on the smaller time frame and you find the highest spot that the market can get to before selling it down so in this example you sell here you sell here you sell here and then you wait you sell here you sell here you need you see what I mean like you sell here then you sell here and then you sell here so don't get market structure obviously confused um, when it comes to smaller time frame obviously within every market structure there is market structure so you have to pay attention to that um, so I hope that makes sense and if you have any questions just let me know um, so let's just go down to the four hour. So you see how the market broke structure and now you understand the flow of the market and how it actually moves. Now, um, sorry. Now, um, let's just go back to the daily and delete all this stuff from here. I'm gonna keep this here for you on the chart just to always like have a look at it when you want but yeah so now what do we have here we have new market structure forming right we have a low high um, higher low and now we have a higher high so what is next well we're gonna be looking for something like this before buying it up again so this is what I think is going to happen in the near future um, is that we have to wait for market structure to play, you know. Obviously, we do not know when the market will start traversing down, but when it does, um, that's when we wait for to see if it's going to, if this, um, if this going to hold or not, right? Because if it doesn't and the market keeps going down, that means, hey, that's a new market structure being formed. Market structure has been broken, and now we're looking for sales. But if this if this comes down and for and stops halfway there, 
um, then, then, then that's when you buy in and, and you take it all the way up. So that's um, what's happening currently with the, with this market actually um, on on AUDSD. So it's it's very clean, very smooth as you can see. So now we just wait and see. You know, we can see here that the market has already started dropping, um, which means is we can actually like I usually. Uh, I usually um, like trend uh, current, uh, counter trend like obviously I like to, tr to catch these bigger moves but sometimes because I'm like more advanced in the market and I know like what to look for and what signs to look for and when I look at the candlesticks and read what they're telling me and sometimes you need to understand the candlesticks like why is this a big red candle and this is a blue candle what does this mean where you just have a small body and just two wicks one wick on the bottom one wick on the top what does all of that means so I understand market structure and that's in I read the markets and you know I trade counter trends but if you just wait for confirmation you know take it easy enjoy the process and let, let the market flow you know now you can see the market has already started to forming bearish market structure um, on smaller time frame. However, we know that on higher time frame, this is just going to be a pullback, right? It's a pullback to to complete market structure because mar market moves in market structure. It doesn't just move up straight non-stop or down non-stop. It moves up and down. So we just wait. We're just going to have to wait for the market to come and pull back. Um, and then wait for confirmation and if it stops and forms a higher low that's we buy in and take it up so this is um, um i would call it episode one uh we'll call it getting started um identifying the trend market structure i hope you enjoyed today's video um please um if you don't understand watch it again and again and again until you actually like know all of this by heart you know it's very simple and very easy to understand but um, yeah, thank you very much for, for watching and I hope you find, found value in it. And uh, yeah, let me know if you, if you um, have any questions at all. Thanks guys.